Hey everyone, I'm Mike from theparkprodigy.com and on today's video, we're gonna break down some of the most popular Universal Orlando vacation packages. That's right, we're switching it up a little bit. We've been doing a lot of tips and tricks videos on our channel, however, we're going back into the planning process, the planning guides. And in this video, we're gonna break down all of the options that you should consider if you are looking to go and plan a Universal Orlando vacation, specifically if you're looking to do a hotel and ticket package. So if you are in the process, if you're in the beginning stages of planning a Universal Orlando vacation, just be sure to stick around to the end of this video as we're gonna break down all of your options when planning vacation packages. I'm really excited, so let's go get started. Thank you all again so, so much for checking out this video. Like I said, we are about to break down some of the most popular Universal Orlando vacation package options. And we're gonna start with a create your own vacation package. We're gonna talk a little bit about some of the deals that Universal will typically run throughout the year. And then of course, we're gonna jump over and we're gonna talk about the Halloween Horror Nights vacation package. And then make sure you stick around till the end as we have the best, in my opinion, for last with the Wizarding World of Harry Potter vacation package over at Universal Orlando. And of course, as you can expect, Universal Orlando has so many different vacation package options for so many different family sizes, budgets, right? Everything that you would possibly consider or everything that might be important to you and your family, they have an option for it. Now, I will say um, from the jump that I'm not going to talk about the different hotel options in this video and, and some of the benefits at each of the different Universal Orlando hotels. We actually do have a complete guide on the best Universal Orlando hotels and the um, you know added benefits at each of those tiers. And we'll leave a link to that in the show notes. And of course, we'll probably do more videos breaking down the Universal Orlando hotels in the coming weeks. So if you are in the process of planning a vacation, just be sure to subscribe to our channel if you do want to check those videos out as well. But let's jump back into the vacation packages. And we're going to start out with by far what is the most you know common universal orlando vacation package and that is the create your own package now for this one and really for all the vacation packages we're specifically talking about hotel accommodation and theme park tickets kind of bundled into one and there's a couple different reasons why you want to do that but specifically it allows you just to kind of get one universal orlando reservation number and you can kind of manage everything under one reservation number and specifically if you book through the park prodigy you know you'll have a travel planner and we can kind of manage everything Thing, like I said, through that one confirmation number. But the Create Your Own Vacation Package allows guests to select the hotel of their choice and add theme park ticket admission to Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, and even Volcano Bay. And of course, just like all the other Universal Orlando vacation packages, guests will receive early park admission. And really the coolest thing about this one is that you pretty much can choose whichever hotel you like, right? And I know I said I wasn't going to get into the hotels. But of course, over at Universal Orlando, we do have eight hotels at this point in time. We have Universal's Endless Summer Resort Dockside, we have Universal's Endless Summer Resort Surfside, we have Cabana Bay, we have Aventura Resort, we have Lowe's Sapphire Falls Resort, we have the Hard Rock Hotel, we have Lowe's Royal Pacific Resort, and we have Lowe's Portofino Bay Resort. So those are the hotels that you can choose from. And very simply, what the Create Your Own Vacation Package will do, it, is, it just allows you to go and pick out whichever hotel you would like, and then more importantly, whichever room you would like. And you'll see as we get into the next kind of you know topic of vacation packages, the, the deals that Universal might run throughout the year, the biggest difference is that everything after this that we're going to talk about, there's going to be some restrictions, right? As far as which hotel you might be able to stay at, how many nights you, you have to stay, um, you know, what's included in those special vacation packages that we're going to talk about. The create your own package, just like it sounds, allows you to pretty much create whichever package works best for you and your family. And that includes the hotel, the room type, however many days you want to stay, um, and whichever ticket type that you want, right? You can kind of bundle that into a Universal Orlando vacation package. Now, taking it one step further, there are some discounts that you could take advantage of, even with the Create Your Own Vacation package. And a lot of the times, these discounts will kind of circle around the type of ticket that you pick, right? So again, you don't need to pick these tickets, but if you do, there's an additional discount. And essentially what those tickets are is the three park tickets. So Universal kind of leans towards, hey, if you do pick a three park ticket, which would be essentially admission to Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, and then Volcano Bay, you will get a little bit of an additional discount. And what that discount is, is on a two night stay, you'll get $10 off. On a three night stay, you'll get $25 off. On a four night stay, you'll get $50 off. On a five night stay, you'll get $75 off. 
on a six night stay, you get $125 off. And then on a seven night stay, you get $200 off. What I will say also is that a lot of guests look at the three park ticket or just you know think of the three park ticket like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to go to Volcano Bay. Like I'm not going to spend the extra bucks on those tickets. And what I would say to that is the ticket pricing for Universal is a, a lot more family friendly, budget friendly, I should say, than over at Disney, right? So what that means is if you're you know two people and let's say you're staying for five nights, it only costs $40 ballpark. I'm ballparking these numbers, but it only costs around $40 to upgrade from a two park ticket to a three park ticket, right? So if you're a group of two, and you're like, hey, maybe maybe we'll go to Volcano Bay. I don't, I don't know if I want to spend the extra money. Well, when you look at it and you're doing a five-night stay and you upgrade to a three-park ticket, well, then you just got $75 off. So it only costs you an extra $5 in that case. You know, so what we would say is run the numbers. Even for a family of four, you know, it went from you know, $160 to you got the $75 off. So it only cost you, you know, an extra $85 for the for you to go and hang out over at Volcano Bay. So, you know, those are some of the things to keep in mind and be mindful that the Universal Orlando ticket pricing is not as, you know, significant as over at Disney. And we're going to break down some options just to give you an idea of what a create your own custom package might look like and some of the ballpark numbers that, you know, you could be expecting over at Universal Orlando. So we're going to start with Universal's Endless Summer Resort, Dockside Inn and Suites. And this is the value resort over at Universal Orlando. For this option, we're going to do a family of five. And so we have, in this case, we have uh, two adults and three children. And we have a two-bedroom suite over at Universal's Endless Summer Resort. Now, we're also including, in this case, a three-park, three-day park-to-park ticket. And at the point and time of the recording of this video, Universal has given us an extra two days for free. So it's actually a five-day ticket in this package. And then we're doing that bundle and save for an additional $50 saving for including a three park ticket. So the total for this package, August 12th to August 16th of this year would be $2,915. And so as you can see, it is really, really affordable to stay at Universal Orlando. And that's, you know, that's a really four or five days in the park, however you want to play it, um, you know, with your hotel stay, but that comes out to $583 Per person and it's right around like you know 145 bucks ballpark per person per day to go and have an amazing vacation over at universal orlando for a family of five so as you could see you know it is a lot more affordable than you might think and then jumping over to some of the other hotels we're also going to break down universal's cabana bay beach resort which is considered a prime value so it's like one step higher than over at universal's endless summer resort now the biggest difference here is that this is a family suite instead of a two-bedroom suite right but with that being said we're still sticking with the um family of five so we're doing two adults and three children in this situation we're doing a check-in on december 1st we're doing a checkout on december 5th same situation three park three day park to park ticket with the two days free and we're doing the bundle and save because we have that three park ticket for an additional $50 off. The total for this vacation package would be $2,969. And as you can see, it's pretty close to the last one we had. In my opinion, the biggest difference here is that you're not getting that two bedroom suite. Oh, you know, you're getting that family suite, which is really like you know, two queen beds and then a pull out sofa. So it is different because over at the two bedroom suite at uh, endless summer, you would get three beds. With that being said, though, th the biggest difference in my mind is I believe the amenities over at Cabana Bay are just a little bit better, such as the you know Lazy River Pool, the two pools, um, the bowling, stuff like that. But still very, very similar in pricing and still you know very, very affordable in a create your own vacation package. Now, for last, we're going to jump over to the Universal Orlando Hard Rock Hotel, which is a premier hotel. And of course, I will say that the, the benefits of the premier hotels is that you do get the Universal Express Pass for free which can be a huge game changer and a great way to save money. You know, if you know you want that Universal Express Pass, we always recommend to take a look at the Premier Hotels when pricing um, your vacation packages out. So for this Universal Orlando vacation package option, like I said, we're staying at the Hard Rock Hotel. We're doing a garden view, two queen room. We have a check-in on August 12th. We have a checkout date on August 16th. Same ticket type. We're doing a three-park, three-day park-to-park ticket with two days free. Same thing, we're getting that bundle and save. Uh, so we're saving $50, we're doing a three park ticket. And the total for a family of five at the Hard Rock Hotel would be $4,527.38. So of course, this is you know a little bit more, but with that being said, you get better amenities and you do get those free Universal Express Passes. So those are some of the options for the Create Your Own Vacation Package. And of course, if you are shopping around for Universal Vacation Packages, this is actually the, the type that we have set up where you can shop and, and kind of check out 
out on your own over at the park prodigy so if you do want to you know see some of these numbers for yourself and go and shop around a little bit and see what your options might be just be sure to go check out the park prodigy.com as we do have a bunch of discounted universal vacation packages but speaking of discounts let's jump over to some of the you know promotions that we might see throughout the year from universal orlando and and of course i can't guarantee that these promotions will be running right um, but it, these are some of the m- most common promotions that we typically see throughout the year from Universal. And the first one is typically we'll see a three-park, five-night Universal Studios family vacation package from $99 per person per night. And so the important thing to keep in mind about this and a lot of the Universal Orlando promotions is that they'll typically require a five-night minimum hotel accommodation, right? Taking one step further, they'll typically you know, say we have to have the three-park, five-day base ticket or a three-park ticket, right, in that vacation um, package. So you know, those are some of the, the differences between the create your own and then going into the deals, right? You do have to spend a little bit more or you have to commit a little bit more from a a hotel accommodation and ticket standpoint, but you know, you might get a really great deal. The other things that you have to keep in mind is um, specifically for a lot of these promotions is they'll kind of say like, hey, at these hotels, right? But for this one, when we took a look at the three park, five night Universal Studios family vacation package for $99 per person, and specifically for this promotion, the three park, five night, or typically any of the promotions that you might see, Universal also has one right now where I believe it's like save $600 uh, on a vacation package. A lot of times these promotions will be at either Cabana Bay or Aventura, right? They're going to be like right in the middle, um, but you do have to pick those hotels. So that's important to keep in mind. But for this one, we'll give you an example of a three park, five night Universal Studios family vacation package for $999 per person per night. We're looking over at the Universal Cabana Bay Beach Resort, and we have a check-in date of 622 over to 626. We have a standard two queen room. And for this uh, vacation package, we do have a family of four. And so, of course, we included those three park, three day park to park tickets with two days free. And the total for this vacation package came to $1,821.88. And so, again, that's pretty much five days in the Universal Orlando theme parks. I'm going to take that $1,821. We'll divide that by four. And then we will divide that by five. And it came to $91 per person per night to have a five-day vacation at Universal Orlando, which is pretty incredible. So again, keep an eye out for the uh, Universal Orlando deals that they might have throughout the year. If you do want to stay as up-to-date as possible, just be sure to go and subscribe to our newsletter as we're always dropping the deals that Universal drops as they come out. But moving over to another really, really cool vacation package and something that is definitely only going on during a specific time of year, and that is the Halloween Horror Nights hotel and ticket package. Now, stay in Scream and save up to $200 uh, with this vacation package option. And of course, these are only going to be um, going on between September 1st through October 31st when Halloween Horror Nights is going on at Universal Orlando. And very similar to the last um, kind of deals that we just discussed, this vacation package does require you to have a five-night hotel accommodation. It does require you to have a three-park, three-day park-to-park ticket plus the two days free at this point in time. I can't guarantee you that that two days free will be available in the future. So you might just get a three park, three day ticket, um, you know, depending on when you're, you might book this vacation package. And the other important thing for this one is specifically right now, they're only booking these deals, quote unquote, there's only available through June 30th as of the time of the recording of this video. Universal, of course, might um, extend that, but I just want to make sure we cover all of our bases. But essentially what this also includes, like I said, so five night hotel accommodation, a three day, three park, park to park ticket. And then you also get one night admission to Halloween Horror Nights. So again, of course, on this vacation package, because you bundle the five nights and you have the three park ticket, you'll save an extra $75 off. And again, it's just very, very convenient for you to kind of bundle your hotel, your tickets, and specifically that Halloween Horror Night ticket all into one convenient package. I'm looking through this actually, and I I do believe that you might be able to book your shorter stays as long as you have that three park ticket and still get the additional kind of, you know, bundle and save that we spoke about before, $10 on a two night. 25 on a three night, 50 on a four night, 75 on a five night, 125 on a six night, and so on. Um, So just keep an eye on that. And if you are interested in the Halloween Horror Night vacation package, just make sure you look at all of your options. Okay, and so last but not least, we do have the Wizarding World of Harry Potter vacation package. And again, this is a really, really cool one. And this is something that's very, very unique and um, specific to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and to Universal in general. So for this one, the coolest things about it is 
you'll definitely still get the hotel accommodations, right? You get your tickets. Everything is kind of combined into one, but there are certain additional benefits that you get. And those additional benefits are going to be a special themed keepsake box with items to get you started on your adventure. So in this themed keepsake box, we have a welcome letter for you and the kids. We have a travel planning guide. We have luggage tags. It's one per person. And I will just, in our past experiences, I do believe Universal um, only has two per package on that. So just, I want to just be upfront because of course, if you have three kids, we don't want to make any promises that we can't keep. And then the last thing is you do get Hogwarts railway lanyards and that's one per person. The other really cool thing is that you will get breakfast at Leaky Cauldron in Universal Studios, Florida. That is one per person. And then you do get breakfast at the three broomsticks in Universal's Islands of Adventure. And then last you get one shutter buttons photography studio session in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. That includes one commemorative DVD photo album and one exclusive design 8x10 photo print. Right, so as you can see, this is really the perfect vacation package for those diehard Harry Potter fans, or just if you're looking to, you know, just um, make your trip a little bit more <laughs> magical, quote unquote, right? It's the same thing, though, as any of the other vacation packages we discussed. You have your hotel accommodation, you have your theme park tickets, plus you get these really, really cool Harry Potter gifts and experiences throughout the park. And for the Harry Potter vacation package, again, this is you know, kind of where it's different from the create your own because there are certain restrictions from a hotel night um, accommodation standpoint. And specifically, you're looking at some uh, minimum hotel night accommodations. I will say that in the past, when I you know, first uh, started the Park Prodigy, the minimum hotel accommodations was only three nights. At the time of the recording of this video, it is five nights. What I would say, though, is if you're interested in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter vacation package and you're only doing three or four nights, just ask. You know, I would say call the Park Prodigy up and just ask us, like, hey, is there any way you could swing this? And we'll take a look and we'll give Universal a call and see if maybe we could pull this off for you. But for these examples, what we're looking at is five-night hotel accommodation. We have a two-park, five-day park-to-park ticket over at Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure. And of course, you do need a park-to-park -park ticket in order to enjoy the Hogwarts Express. So that's why you know th those are the ticket types that we're including in these vacation packages. And we're going to look at some examples for you as well. So we're starting with Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort because it is so popular. We have a check-in date on June 22nd. We have a check-out date on June 27th. And we have those two park, three-day park-to-park tickets. Now for this one, we got a bundle and save for the Harry Potter vacation package. And we actually saved an additional $75 off for including those two park tickets in the vacation package. And it's also important to note, if you want that three park ticket, you can of course upgrade and you'll get the kind of same bundle and save um, deal for the Harry Potter vacation packages. And the total for this vacation package would be $2,930.52. And this is for a family of four. All right, so this next one is over at Aventura Resort, which is one of my um, personal favorites over at Universal. I think the rooms are very modern and really, really cool. So this is a, a check-in date of September 8th. We have a checkout of September 12th. And so for this, we have the two park, three day park to park ticket. And we're doing a bundle and save. And we got $50 off this vacation package. And this is going to be for two adults. So our adults visiting Universal Orlando. And the total for this vacation package would be $1,611. And then last but not least, we're going over to another one of my favorite hotels, which is Lowe's Royal Pacific Resort. This is a premier hotel, so you'll get a Harry Potter vacation package, plus you'll get those free Universal Express passes. And for this, we're doing a check-in date of June 22nd. We have a check-out date of June 27th. And then we have a two-park, three-day park-to-park ticket. And then, of course, we're doing a bundle and save, so we got $75 off for including those two-park or three-park tickets in our Harry Potter vacation package. And for this, we have two adults and two children. And the total for this vacation package was $5,280.45. And so that is it, everyone. Those are some of the most common Universal Orlando vacation packages that you should consider for your next Universal Orlando trip, specifically over at you know the on-site resorts. I really, really hope that you found this video helpful. Again, we tried to give you, you know, some ideas and some, you know, and some example budgets and prices for those vacation packages. So, and you can figure out and, you know, kind of make the best decision for you and your family. So you can really figure out and make the best decision for you and your family as you are planning your universal trip. If you do need a little additional help, just be sure to go check out our website, theparkprodigy.com. We do have a bunch of free vacation planning tools. We have a bunch of discounted theme park tickets, a bunch of discounted Universal Orlando vacation packages that you can take advantage of. And anyone who does book their Universal Orlando vacation package through our small business, you will get your very own vacation planner to pretty much help you plan every aspect of your trip. So I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you all again so, so much for checking out this video. And until next time, I will talk to you soon.